In this video, I'm going to use an alternative strategy for calculating the position of a step in data. The reason that I'm going to use an alternative strategy is the data is from gold and the edge associated with gold at the Fermi level has a step but there is no clear plateau to the lower kinetic energy side. So if we simply apply a step down function, and that's part of the background, and if I just adjust the limits so I have a chance of fitting the data, and I say fit, what happens is the excess signal in this region here of the spectrum causes the uplift in the step. So the intensity of the step is too great for what we would normally expect for data such as these. So the step down function doesn't give us a, a well-defined position. The alternative approach is to use a flat background and then introduce a component to a peak model and this component is a Shirley background that is calculated from a Gaussian. This is a complementary error function that is calculated directly from a Gaussian, albeit with an offset. So what I have to do is allow enough space within the area constraints to allow a fit to occur and then press the fit button and as you can see the result of fitting this Shirley background calculated from a Gaussian to these data is very much as happened with the complementary error function in the step down background type. There's an excess of intensity associated with a step so the position isn't very well defined. So let's alter this. Let us change the characteristics of this shape and adjust the intensity a little bit so that we see something that is closer to what we might expect if we didn't have this excess signal and there was just a plateau here. So in order to accommodate this in fitting terms I have to add another component. Let's make that also Gaussian for the sake of argument. And let's set the width to be something like 0.7 and move it over to the edge position. Let's just reduce it down a little bit so we can see the maximum. And then with a little bit of adjustment I'm going to attempt to model this excess signal by the Gaussian. So when I say fit, well I end up with a step function that looks much closer to what you might expect and the excess signal is being allowed for by the Gaussian.